It's halftime at the NCDA National Championship game, and if you think this one has a Duke Butler vibe to it, then you're probably right. 345 dodgeballs thrown, only 35 hits to show for it. These teams aren't afraid to bring the heat. They've got a combined record of 30 and 4 with three of those losses to each other, and they win by an average of 4 points a game, so both of their numbers are probably half of where they should be at this point. The problem that they're facing, as pointed out earlier, is fatigue. They played three games yesterday, they played three more today to get here. That's about 2,000 dodgeballs for each team, or 100 for each player, and well, 100 fastballs, that'll hurt you no matter who you are. So they're going to be slower, they're not going to be as accurate, and their production is hurting about as much as their arms as a result. Be that as it may, sooner or later both teams are going to have to make a move. A one point lead just isn't safe enough to kill the clock for a full half. Look for players not being able to react as quickly, getting hit by questionable shots, and overdoing it while trying to power those last few throws home. This is a chance for more attentive players to help out. If you see an opponent about to commit to a throw, you know where his plant foot will end up as he follows through. Because both teams are exhausted, he won't get into his back pedal nearly as fast, and that forward leg will be an awfully big target. Running them down may not be an option for you, but a well-timed cross-court shot might just do the trick. The Chippewas took 2 out of 3 in this year's matchups against the Lakers, and GPSU is looking to even the series and extend their title run to 5 straight years. 25 minutes from victory, you're watching the NCDA National Championship game. We'll be back after the jump. For more information on the NCDA, or to find out how to start a dodgeball team at your school, visit ncdadodgeball.com.